Hey guys, how you doing today? Uh, this is Mark here. I'm the founder and developer and maintainer for DEE2. And that is a database of processed RNA-seq data. And I'm going to walk you through one of our new features, which is the re uh, to request a specific new data set. So let's get straight to it. Okay, so this is the the homepage for DEE2.io. And as you can see, we have a lot of data sets that have already been processed and ready for you to analyze. But particularly for human and mouse, we've got a lot of data sets here that are in the queue waiting to be processed. And this is a bit of a, a pain because uh, it takes a lot of compute power to analyze this. Uh, and we know that there's a lot of users out there who are looking for uh, particular data sets to be processed in a, in a kind of a quick way. So we came up with this request feature. So to access that um, currently, uh, it's an experimental feature. So it's kind of buried here at the bottom of the page. So we'll click there. And as you can see, we've got some instructions here. And uh, the web form operates very similar to the original web form. So you've got your organism of interest here and uh, you can put in the accession number that you want to process. And you'll notice that these are uh, SRP numbers. So these are SRA project numbers. And that, um, so that's a bit different to the original page, which can accept different types of identifiers like uh, geo series, uh, runs and experiments. Uh, this one only accepts uh, SRA project numbers and they tend to begin with SRP, uh, ERP, or DRP. So uh, for example, if in a paper, you're given uh, a geo series number that starts with uh, GSE, then uh, you'll need to navigate to NCBI geo and scroll down a little bit to find the SRP number. So that's this one here. And once you've got that number, uh, you can you can just try it in the, that box there. Uh, but if you want to know whether it's in the queue and not already processed, then you might want to click on this button here. And this brings up a, uh, you know, a lists for each of these respective organisms. And we can have a look at what's in the queue for Homo sapiens. Uh, so there's a lot there. So I'll use control find. And we can see, yeah, that this, this uh, accession number is in the queue. So we can, ref we can return back to the request um, web form. We can select Homo sapiens because that's the organism of interest here. And I'll paste in that SRP number. And then I'll pop in my email address and uh, press the submit button. And what will happen is that the, it'll be added to the queue and um, I'll get an email uh, notification when that is completed. Uh, just to ensure that these notifications don't go to your spam folder, add this email address to your save list. Uh, and might, you might also wanna check the spam. Um, and we have a, a location here for where all the requested data sets will be stored temporarily until they, uh, until the main database is updated and I guess catches up and incorporates all of those um, uh, data from the express queue. So let's submit that. It looks like that's worked properly. So this is what the uh, request looks like and that's gonna get sent to our servers at Deakin University and get processed and there'll be a, an email when that is completed. Okay, so what does it look like when you get the email notification? So what I'll do is I'll bring one up for you to show you what this looks like. So what you'll get is an email notification from Ubuntu at this email address, and it will say that a certain SRA project uh, has been processed and the data is available at the link. And so there's a a, a direct link to this zip file. Um, and um, 
So that may or may not work because we're dealing with um, the servers that I have access to on the Nectar Cloud can't be encrypted, so I can't have HTTPS. So you, that might get blocked. Um, so to access it, you might want to go first to the request area. Um, uh, so I'll just copy this SRP number for now. So we'll go to that request area and we can see that, yep, this data set is here and then we can download it from here. So that looks like it's worked. And inside this folder, you'll get all the normal stuff that we uh, get from DEE2. There's a readme which will bring up the, the content, uh, you know, what's inside each of it, like the, just explains about each of those. Uh, and, and the goodies that we have, uh, most notably the uh, gene count matrix and the transcript count matrix. So these, these uh, data are suitable for analyzing in R with Edge R and DEseq and other tools like that. So that's the, the tool. It's been uh, great uh, showing, you, showing it to you. Let me know if you have any suggestions or uh, feature requests or feedback and I uh, hope to hear from you soon. Thanks very much, guys. Bye.